Welcome back friends and um, Hubs and Senior Enthusiasts. Today I'm going to do a very quick video. Um, it's about a feature of the 1.1.x firmware that I've discovered. I don't see it being mentioned anywhere else so I thought I would put this out very quickly. Um, and it has to do with the return to home function. And so normally um, when you go out of range you would expect the quad to return to home automatically until it reaches or until it regains the signal. Now I find that in 1.1.x series that doesn't always happen. It does sometimes and I will describe that as we go through the video um, but you may find that if you're waiting for your quad to come back it's not going to go, it's not going to come back to you anytime soon. It will come back if the battery runs flat um, but that could be 10-15 minutes wait uh, in that time you may start to panic. Um, the thing to do here is never panic when nothing happens uh, but think things through logically. There's a simple fix for it. Um, I'm not sure whether Hobson are aware of this. I think it's something to do with the new feature they've put in um, which they give a very ambiguous release note for which I will describe on my connectivity video because um, I think I understand now what they're trying to say in that release note and that's to do with control the Wi-Fi when the signal drops or something like that. Um, I don't know the exact wording but I'll pull it up in the next video which will be about connectivity and how the quad connects. Hope you uh, find something useful here. If you're aware of it, well, scan on and don't need to watch all this. It's got to be a bit slow because I'm going to do some of it in real time to show you what the situation is. Um, I'll speed up, speed up some of the video. Otherwise, it's short and sweet to the point. RTH doesn't always RTH when you lose signal. Okay, so let's start at the beginning here. And we're flying to uh, around about one kilometer. And first indication that we're getting out of range is the signal bar for the control channel should start to fluctuate and eventually drop to zero and there we can see that in the red box and then we're it's followed by the aircraft disconnect message on the status bar so one would assume here and we'll quick note of the time it's at two minutes 50 seconds and we would assume that um, the quad would go into automatic return to home uh, at this stage we're still seeing a video feed uh, indicated by the, the video signal a uh, bars still fully um, populated uh, of course the video feed is a different protocol from the control feed and it's the control feed which we bind at startup and it's that one which when it fails should initiate the return to home so now I'm looking at my screen um, what looks to be a static picture but we do still still see some movement of course I'm not 100% sure whether that's a live video feed or whether it's just um, intermittent connections to the video and I'm not really sure what the the cord is doing so in these circumstances all we can really do is sit back twiddle our thumbs and watch so what we do know is that the cord took 2 minutes 50 seconds or so to make that flight out to 1 kilometer, and that means that around about the 5 minute mark we would expect it to uh, return. Uh, now we can try and initiate a manual um, return to home but of course without any control signal uh, that's not going to ever initiate <laughs> so really all we can do in the, this instance is hang around and wait and that's exactly what I'm going to do now So the question is, is it returning to home or not? There's certainly no sign of anything happening, so perhaps it's time to take um, further action. Mm. So let's speed this up and see what happens. We're now well over five minutes, over six minutes, still nothing. So at this stage I'm saying, well, that quad is not coming home. So it looks like we're going to have to um, initiate a, an alternative means to bring it home. Uh, the only way we can really do that is to make sure that the signal is actually fully disconnected. The video signal, as you can see, has still got four bars three bars intermittent which means that the wi-fi is actually still connected so it looks like 
Hubson have implemented a Wi-Fi disconnection, not a control channel disconnection. And of course, the Wi-Fi channel for the video is probably using UDP, which is never going to disconnect until you're well out of range. It's going to be intermittent and very, very laggy, but it's not going to actually disconnect. So the only thing we can do really then is turn off the controller. And um, that will definitely kill the, uh, the signal. And so that's what I'm going to do now. And I will um, press the button. Uh, but now I definitely got a disconnection. And switch back on again. Now we can see as soon as we um, disconnected the video down in the bottom right, which is the video from the camera, um, shows that the quad immediately starts to return to home and it's now on its way back. So the, um, the controller is now booting, reconnecting with the phone. We're reconnected now, but still no aircraft connection. We're now showing still 1,000 meters, but of course that's probably not right. We're now up to nine minutes plus into the flight. But uh, now we've got a connection back again. Uh, we can see immediately that we've gone over 100 meters home already. But as soon as the signal reconnects, the return to home, the auto return to home for the signal failure uh, cancels. So I, the speed drops to zero and I automatically, or I initiate the um, manual return to home to bring it all the way. And so there we are, we're on our way home now. I'll quickly speed this up to get through. But without um, switching off control, that quad would just hang there forever. And in fact, I said in the introduction that it would eventually come back when the battery went flat, but that's not true. And I've been out and tested that. Uh, the um, low voltage return to home depends entirely on how you're having a control signal because that is initiated from the app. And if you don't have a phone connected to your controller or you don't have a control signal, then that's not going to um, ever initiate that. OK, so just to summarize, if you um, go out of range, the quad must lose Wi-Fi signal under the current firmware to actually initiate a return to home. If the Wi-Fi is still active, which would be indicated by having uh, signal bars on the video signal, for instance, then the quad will just sit there at the point of loss of control signal until you take action to um, remove the signal completely. The way, only way of doing that is to uh, turn off the controller, reboot it, and by that time the, the uh, quad should have started to return to home but of course as soon as it uh, regains signal or uh, the control signal it will then drop back into normal flight mode like all Hubsons always do so to bring it home you must initiate a manual return to home so that's basically it go out of range if your quad's not coming back flick the power button power it back on and then regain control once you get the signal back again okay so I hope that was useful um Sorry about the wind noise on here, but a uh, rather windy day. It's about 10 to 15 miles an hour, just to 20 miles an hour. I'm just doing some testing of um, firmware 1.1.50 uh, to see how it performs in stronger winds, which I'm pleased to say that it's performing quite well at the moment. But it's cold and it's not particularly pleasant, and I'm going to disappear. So if you've enjoyed this, um, watch out for some other um, upcoming features about the Xeno. All the best and happy flying.